The first step in cleaning your sprayer is to add clean water to the sprayer and make sure that you've flushed it out thoroughly. But you want to save that rinseate for use in the next day's uh, mixing up of pesticides. And then you not only stop with, with cleaning the tank, but you need to also clean the, the, the strainers and each sprayer is going to have a strainer that needs to be cleaned so that debris doesn't build up and then it clogs the nozzles. Remember that any equipment that you use uh, in this cleaning process for disassembling the sprayer may get contaminated and so you want to be aware of that as well. The nozzles are another uh, very critical piece of equipment on a sprayer. The nozzle is usually made of soft metal so you want to use a soft bristled brush to clean off any residues that may be clogging, uh, clogging the nozzle. The pump is something that, uh, that also needs to be cleaned so you want to disassemble the sprayer, take the pump out, and then drain any leftover rinseate and save it for use the next day. Remember, there's going to be pesticide on any of the parts. For instance, the spray wand here is going to have pesticide on the outside of it. Make sure you wipe that down thoroughly and you'll have a clean sprayer for the next day.